look at that too! Chaos Child! Last time we finished the Nono Senri route and sadly Sirika died when she saw that Taku chose Senri over her. And oh, it was really tragic, but you know, Senri was really cool. Actually got a very happy ending with Taku and I'm happy for them. I really like them as well. Hello, Nate. Welcome to the stream. And oh my god, I'm done with the two hundred and the zero go! Do you see it right there? Hello, Fleet. Welcome to the stream. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It even has its own thing out right here. Oh, uh, before we do this, let me just check the uh, freaking. Oh my god, everybody's here. Real Sky. It's no no and not Senri. Interesting. Okay. Oh my god, hello Gaunt, have a walk in the stream! Let's fucking go! Now, I, I've been told the true ending, life on the right side of reality. Ooh. I've been told... that... Oh my god, I have been told uh, that uh, uh, this is much longer than the Chaos Head true ending, so it's probably going to be two streams. Maybe even three. But I am so fucking hyped, you guys! Hello, Jim, but let's welcome to the stream. Sometimes. I have these dreams. Sometimes I have them on the night after I got get a bad test grade. I can't imagine Taku getting a bad test grade. Is this Taku? Or when I have a fight with a friend. Anytime I'm not feeling well when I sleep, I have these dreams. I'm sorry, Liz. I'm too fucking hyped. And I only remember the dreams when I'm asleep. When I wake up, I don't remember anything about them. The dreams are strange that way. I'm assuming this is Taku. What is this? What is this? Hello, Void. Welcome to the stream. Is this Serica? Is this Serica remembering the past? Oh my god! Oh god, what voice do I use? I'll, I'll try to use one in between. In the dreams, I'm a murderer. Yes, it is Sarika! Oh my god! Oh my god! Sarika POV! Oh my god! 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 The first people I killed were the parents of my childhood friend. I killed him because he wanted me to do it. In his heart, he was happy. So I was too. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Cause this is right after she was created, boy. But the murders didn't stop there. I kept killing people in secret after that. As for the reason why, it was because I needed to continue the game that he wished for deep inside his heart. Really? She wanted him to find that it was her? I leave hints and small contradictions at the murder scene so that he could slowly track down who I was. <laughs> the boy loved the game, and when I saw how happy it made him, it made me happy too. In 
the dreams, there was a man helping me with the murders. It was the doctor who ran the dorm where he stayed. I didn't like the doctor. He wasn't normal. Well, I mean, neither were you, but... Every time he appeared in my dreams, he'd suggest a cruel, horrible way of killing someone. But he would laugh and smile and always say the same thing. Your boy wouldn't enjoy anything less. Oh, I knew that was up to you, you fucker. He probably decided how Yui would die. Oh, God. Oh, no. One thing I really love about Yandere characters is how both uh, in control and innocent they are at the same time. I, I think it's just a really cool contradiction. Very well, then. I would think in response. If that's what it would take for the boy to enjoy it, that's what I would do. The man and I killed many people in the dreams, in the worst ways imaginable. In my dreams, I was psychic, and I knew exactly what the man was trying to do to the boy. He was planning something awful, but I knew he wouldn't lose to the man. <gasps> Very, very strong. <laughs> Let me, oh God, I'll lower the, I'll lower my audio a bit. my hero. Oh, come to think of it, there was another man in my dreams sometimes. Ooh, is it wacky? Is it wacky? Wacky tacky. It was a man I knew well. It's fine? Okay, let me... Um... Normally, he was a lazy, easygoing man. Yep, it's wacky tacky. Ah, oh, he's going to be the boss of the true ending. All oh, right. Woo! Oh, my God. If we get a, a Serika and Taku team up to fight him, I will just lose it completely. The kind you could never imagine doing something wrong. Yep. The committee is willing to let this play out, provided that you don't interfere with us. We are interested in seeing what happens to him. He was part of some organization called the committee. The kind of thing you'd see on a TV show about urban legends. He said he was watching me and the boy at all times. Even for a dream, that seems like a little too much. So I thought to myself, and almost laughed. By the way, how are you getting along with your everyday life? You wouldn't want to slip up and have someone find out who you are, right? Oh shit, he's threatening her. After he told me that, I realized something. In the dreams, for some reason, I didn't have a home. Wait, are you sure? 
Didn't you have that swanky ass apartment? Oh. We're gonna find out how she got that swanky ass apartment. He found me the home of a girl who lived by herself. I killed her and then had I had my place to live. Damn cold. And each time he appeared in my dream, he would tell me about the strangest things. D swords, gigalomaniacs, the truth about the new generation madness. The murders that occurred in Shibuya before the earthquake. Some kind of game called Chaos Head with a really perverted guy who somehow saved the world. The artificial giggle maniac generator device. Here we go. As well as Chaos Child Syndrome and the sumo stickers. What is Chaos Child Syndrome? Come on, tell me! The other me, who was watching the me in my dreams, who had always looked down in confusion. Why was I having these dreams? Sure, whenever there was a program on TV about urban legends, I'd watch it. But it was just a small hobby of mine. It wasn't something that should be showing up in my dreams. In one of my dreams, he was scolding me like I was at school. Ooh. I love that we're getting this. Oh my god. Her perspective on everything. Sending him into the hospital basement was going a little too far, you know. You made me have to move all the things that were, we were keeping down there. I don't like trouble, you know. It was some kind of lab filled with all kinds of machines. I was surprised to find something like this in the basement of a place I knew so well. Wait, no, that wasn't right. This was a dream. Impossible things happened all the time in dreams. Sorry. As a middle manager type, I have to tell you these things. Anyway, just keep him on a tighter leash, all right? If you do, I won't do anything. You just need to be a little more careful, okay? Hello, March. Welcome to the stream. So, Serica was essentially homeless for the vast majority of her time. It's pretty nuts. I wonder how she got by. I just kept on having these strange dreams. But every time I woke up, I wouldn't remember anything. Just when I was thinking of going to a doctor about all this. I had that dream. Was it of the common root and oh of no no. It was the most realistic dream I've ever had. Hello Zash, welcome to the stream. November 4th. It was so realistic I even knew the date. I was in a panic. She had found out my secret. You were the one who was using Minamisawa Senri, weren't you? <laughs> I don't want to hear that from you, of all people. Caruso no no. I'd screwed up and let her find out who I was. 
How could I have known she'd find me out because of that cell phone strap he had given me as a present? He gave her that! Oh my god, I, I forgot that. I, I completely forgot that detail. Oh. I quickly ripped off the strap and threw it away. It made me sad, but I didn't have a choice. I wasn't intending to kill her. Really? Really? Oh, that's interesting. Her death would have been too much of a shock for him. Then why did she die? He might quit playing my game if I did. Oh, I see. No good. I'll have to kill her without him finding out. And then come up with something. Nothing personnel, kid. I drew my D-sword and tried to kill her. <laughs> oh my god! What?! She can s What the hell?! Reading Steiner?! What the hell? Is this like some kind of reading Steiner shit?! What?! But then I suddenly saw something in my dream. And she saw that would happen if she didn't kill her. Oh my god! Wow! Okay. Oh my- This is like- Oh my god! This just makes me want that it should have been a freaking Steins Gate Zero style thing even more. God damn it! Seriously, the roots should have been Steins Gate Zero style! Fucking hell! Oh my god! Wow! Oh my god, seriously, it totally- Yeah, she wasn't even there, yeah, this is like... I would not be surprised at all if Okabe had the potential to be a gigalomaniac. Would not be surprised. But then I suddenly saw something in my dream. Waffle, Olga. He and she might have a future like this. Holy shit! <gasps> oh my god! So the no-no root was just freaking. Oh my god, with Serica's reading Steiner. That's fucking insane! Okay, so we- okay, thanks, Liz, for that confirmation. So, somebody had a sumo mask. I see, and it didn't affect him. I see. Okay. At one point. I see. So it's like two separate abilities. Damn, Serica is stacked. I wonder if being a delusionary human, like, gives her all the powers. I wonder if Takumi also has reading Steiner in some- You know what? I think he does. That's right, didn't he? Remember that that the true ending of a uh, freaking chaos head didn't uh, Takumi also see the other paths? Oh my god! So Takumi probably has it too. So being a delusionary human gives you both abilities. It seems like based on the two examples that we have, a small sample size, sure, but oh wow! <sighs> I got distracted and missed her vitals. I swung the sword again. But then... Kurusu, on away! Takuru? It was him. And now he knew. There was no way I could talk my way out of this. 
No, 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 no! Run! Run. That was what she said just before collapsing. Of course, she was talking to him. But I was the one who ran instead. I think that's where it all started. Where the me and the dream started to go wrong. This is so related to the Nona route. It just really, really makes me think the Nona route should have been way more expanded. And they could have done a ton of like Nono and Serica specific things on the two halves. I wonder if um uh if they were even inspired by, you know, this and how it came out in the end of the true route to do the structure of Steins Gate Zero. Cause it really feel feels like this would have bene benefited from that. where the me and the dream started to go wrong. And then, the dream suddenly ended. Oh God. Stop it. Taku! He was holding his D-sword high, looking down at me. Oh, that's from the end of the common route. And I was begging him not to do something. <laughs> Don't take my reason for living away from me! God damn it, somebody didn't watch JoJo Part 6. I've read lots of mine since I was created. Everyone's always so worried and no one ever knows what to do! I can't believe they live like that! How can they smile? They don't even know why they're doing it! time in my life, I actually cried real tears. No, you're going to be a normal girl. Stream. Please let me help you forever. So did you Sayonara. Is this leading up to how she helped him in the hospital? I This is it. Goodbye. Taco! Up to the very last second, I was gazing at the face of the boy that I loved. I would never forget it. And she really didn't, even though he tried to make her. February 11th, 2016, Thursday. Uh. 
Here she is. She in the hospital? I wake up feeling something on my cheek. I put my hand up to it. It's wet with tears. Three months after the end. Oh, wow. Where is she? What dream was I having that made me so sad? Are they tears of joy, maybe? I'm not even sure. But whenever I have that dream, I cry. It makes my eyes all puffy and red. Maybe that's just how my body works. Oh, okay, so she's using the other voice. I didn't realize. Hello, Twerk. Welcome to the stream. Or maybe I need a doctor to... Or maybe I need to have a doctor look at me after all. But I don't know how I would even begin to explain it to them. I'll use her real voice for the inner voice, and when she's talking, I'll, I'll just do, um, you know, whatever she does. I don't remember what these dreams are about, after all. I stretch out on the bed to try and feel better. The light coming through the curtains is bright. The weather outside seems to be very good. Today's February 11th. It's National Foundation Day and school is closed. But I'm supposed to go out and meet a friend, so I have to get up and get ready fast. So wait, what happened? Because didn't everyone else know that it was her? I wonder who her friend could be. Oh, it's, an, it's someone we don't know. Huh? Hi? Hello. Like, Sarika, where are you? Ah, I know. Huh? Huh? <laughs> like, you haven't left yet? I move the phone away from my ear and check the time. Oh my god, is the whole thing gonna be from her perspective? Because that would be fucking incredible. Oh my god. It's ten minutes before the time when we're supposed to meet. The shopping mall we plan to rendezvous at is twenty minute walk away. Oh shit. I realize that I don't remember setting my alarm the night before. And I don't have a bike. <laughs> I'm sorry! I'll live right now! Hello, Nate. Welcome to the stream. What? That, that's not Senna, is it? That, that, that can't be Senna. Is it? Wait, is that really Sana or not? That does not sound like Sana to me. Sana was much more serious. Because this is Aoi. I am Jeez. Oh, it's fine. We can just like meet at the station. Does that work? Huh? That's fine. Oh, we're not going to the usual place? Yeah, I thought not. <laughs> He's joking around. Yeah, it's not the girl with the gall. Ah, oh, jeez. Ayaka's like suddenly got some free time and she said she wants to go to Shibuya. Oh, boy. My heart pounds loudly. Thanks, Baka. I hope it's not too annoying. I, I tend to joke around with the minor characters. The faceless ones. Huh? Is that like totally a problem? 
Talking fast to cover up my panic, I'll tell her that I'll be here there as soon as I can and hang up. I'm not supposed to go to Shibuya. That's what she told me. She? She didn't even tell me why, but it probably has something to do with the traffic accident I was in three months ago. Well, even disregarding the accident, I just don't really feel like going to Shibuya that often. Is this gonna be like how she ended up busting Taku out of the hospital? Like it's gonna lead up to that? Cause that would be so sick. Yokohama has a lot of places that are just as fancy and fashionable. And going all the way to a crowded town like that in my day off is just exhausting. I don't like big crowds anyway. When I see a lot of people at once, my head starts aching and I feel something strange in my chest. It's not just another thing my body does. She's just introverted. Well, it's fine. My friends have been nice enough to invite me. Her, who is her guardian? My god, like, this raises further questions. And it's my... Guardian's fault for not telling me why I shouldn't go to Shibuya anyway. She lives in Shibuya, so if I see her there, I'll tell her that myself. Ooh, I wonder- Oh, wait, is it Mio? I bet it's Mio. It's gotta be Mio, right? I leap out of bed and start to get ready. of my stomach flow down the drain and disappear. When you feel like you have to vomit, just getting it over with is the best way to feel better. The crepes I ate are, uh, just ate are gone now, though. Like, you're okay? Oh yeah, it could be Mimose as well. That's true. Yeah, it could be Mimose. Probably her since she has more money. Always rubbing my back. I raise my hand to show that I'm fine. Huh? That's a 1800 yen I spend with a lot of money! I saw a group of college kids having fun and then suddenly felt like I needed to throw up. Really? Like, does this have to do with that sickness in your head you were talking about? <sighs> I don't know. It happened three months ago in Shibuya on November 6th. That's incredible, Liz. Yeah, don't think about watching that. This is, I can't believe, is the whole thing going to be from Serika's perspective? Because if so, that is beyond insane. Oh my god. It was the day of the Shibuya Restoration Festival. Supposedly, I was hit by a car full of people who came to see the festival. I say supposedly because I can't really remember it. All I remember is seeing a very bright light. Headlights, maybe? I'm not sure. The next thing I knew, I woke up in a hospital bed. I really wish Mio should have had a route over fucking Uki. Seriously. I, I really wanted to know, and I really hate that her backstory got shoved into a random manga instead of actually being in the game. Like, you think, like, featuring Kurusu and all, it would have been a cool reason. Like, to, you know, like a, a, a selling point of the game, like, have a Steins Gate crossover, or like, a little bit of a Steins Gate crossover. Like, seriously. There were wounds all over my body, particularly in my stomach. 
and I was wrapped up in bandages like a mummy. But what was worse than that was the effect it had on my memories. I remembered my name, and I remembered how old I was. I remember my favorite TV shows. I remember the day of the Chibi earthquake. Oh, really? I remember the faces of idols I liked and how to use flick input on a smartphone. But what school I went to, where I lived, who my parents were, all of that was gone. I tried so hard to remember, but I just can't. Instead, I sometimes see images in my mind, like clips from a film. Hello, Fumikage. Welcome to the stream. Sometimes it's a town in ruins, or rows and rows of TV screens, or a puddle of blood. But none of them seem real, and I can't imagine why I'm seeing them anyway. The doctors told me that maybe I used to like watching movies. And that's supposedly where the images came from. Maybe they're right? Uh, I don't know. It's okay, here you go. Don't you know? Ayaka ran to get me a bottle of tea. Thank you. <sighs> Thanks. I take it gratefully, rinse out my mouth, and spit in the drain again. <laughs> Gosh dang it. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Koichi Wellikers. <laughs> like you know. Even if you're sick and need to act more like a girl, it's a waste. Yes, Fleet, exactly. <laughs> huh? What is she talking about? I feel like someone told me the same thing before. As I think about that, the urge to vomit fades away. I don't know, minor characters. <laughs> And I used a lot of voices for other characters in this, so. What should we do? I got the clothes I wanted. Should we go home? <sighs> no, I'm fine. I feel just fine after that. Yeah, that's when Taku was in his asshole phase. Like, are you sure it's not just you have three whole crepes? <sighs> Maybe you're right. Sometimes something happens and I suddenly feel like I remember glimpses of who I used to be before the accident. Hilarious light Arimura. There's no way that's possible. Like when I saw that crepe stand a bit ago. Back then, I suddenly felt a strong feeling for cra craving for crepes. Hello, Takuya. Welcome to the stream. And I ended up eating too many. I never realized how much I like sweets. Or maybe I just really like crepes specifically? I don't know. Maybe I ate them on a date with a boy I liked once. <coughs> My face goes red. There's no way. Probably. I'm not interested in that stuff. Yeah, until you see Taku, then you'll immediately be interested. And if I did have a boyfriend back then, he would have come to see me when I was in the hospital. I love that. I love that she's talking like this. Oh my god! <laughs> Want to go see a movie? Serika, how are you for money? Two of my precious a thousand yen bills have already disappeared down the drain, along with the crepes. And I don't have any parents to beg for cash. 
生活費の振り込みって十五日だからな。I got my money for living expenses on the fifteenth too. This must be what a grown-up feels like the day before payday. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, exactly. Ah, <sighs> what should I do? And then I suddenly see something strange. Is she gonna see Taku or somebody she knew? Huh? What's that? Huh? Oh. Oh, he sees what I'm looking at and frowns. Like, you've never seen them before, Serika? I not. Maybe the old me is someone in the past, but I don't recognize it now. Really? That's something well known? Interesting. I wouldn't think of that something that's like well known. Because Taku had no idea what it was. You've at least heard of it, right? Chaos Child Syndrome? See, that's what it is! What, what is? Strange looking people. Are they the sumo face guys? Sumo masks? There are these strange looking people walking around. No, it's less that they look strange and... Yeah, yeah. More that the clothes they're wearing don't match their appearances at all. There's a weird unbalanced feeling to them. I can't stop staring. Is it the sumo masks? But the people around them are clearly used to them, so they don't seem to mind. Really? The giggle mania? Like, it's like common knowledge? Young people who had something bad happen to them during the earthquake got that condition. Alright? Oh, we nods. How come nobody's bothered by it? Like they are, but it's not the victim's fault. It's just a disease. And besides, Aoi looks up at the big TV screen on the side of the building. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, well, that's nice. That's really nice. Chaos Child Syndrome is a treatable illness. Man, if only they had this in freaking Arknight's world. My god. This kind of freaking PSA is in help from the governments. This treatable illness is not dangerous and is not communicable. Harassment of patients is a violation of their human rights and forbidden by law. Okay, so clearly if there was billboards like this before, like we would have known about it. So this is probably a new thing. Let us strive for an equal society free from discrimination. She is looking below at the TV and the marquee used for news and messages. There's a message there. Chaos child- oh, goddammit, she just- <laughs> Kids, child syndrome is a treatable illness, not dangerous, not communicable. Harassment of patients is a violation of their human rights and is forbidden by law. Let us strive for an equal society free from discrimination. Despite the fact that I've obviously heard about the syndrome in the past, I've never seen anything like it. Well, I don't have to change the name of the stream, at least I'm glad. <laughs> Like, you only run into people who have that disease in Shibuya. So Aoi adds, when she notices that I'm still staring at the announcement. This tone's kind of weird. There's lots of rumors about it. <laughs> Oh, that's creepy. Jeez. Oh, yeah, I've heard about them too. Sometimes the syndrome patients go missing, right? Like they're being taken away for experiments or something. Experiments? 
<laughs> like, you totally read too much manga, for sure. <laughs> anyway, you never you really never heard of this before, Serika. Oh, wait, I thought she said she did hear of it. Oh, was that ISA on the fucking billboard there? Hell yeah! Woo! <laughs> yeah, go ISA! Best chaos head girl. No, never. I see. You don't really don't read news on the internet, do you? She's right. I've never really been interested and I don't even have internet at home. Really? Wow, damn, but doesn't she have a cell phone? According to Ayaka, everyone else has internet these days. But I wonder if that's really true. <laughs> Anyway, since you don't have any money, do you want to go take a peek instead? Take a peek at what? Ayaka flashes a mischievous grin. Naniyo? Oh, yeah, there we go. Huh? Peek at what? Is it the host? Oh my god! How the fuck does she know all this? At the place they keep all the patients. I know where it is. What? No way! I'd like rather go see a movie. I'll like totally pay for Serica's ticket and junk. The three of us argue for a while, but in the end, Ayaka wins out. The reason being, I don't like the idea of having a friend pay for me. Plus, for some reason I can't explain, I want to go there too. Oh wait, is she gonna see Taku there? And then bust him out of jail? Oh my god! Oh my god! Is that what she's gonna bust him out of jail? Oh my god! Oh my god! But why do they say they look different? That's that's really weird. I mean, we've seen everybody's sprites and like they look pretty normal. Is it like an aura about them or something? Jeez. Like, just for a little bit, okay? Totally torque. 100% Taku X Serica OTP. I, like, don't want them getting mad at us. So, like, where is it anyway? Oh, what? Is it the whole fucking school? It's really close. It's called Hekiho Academy. Just like before, eh? I wonder why they called it there instead of it's. Oh yeah, it was um because they in Chaos Head, they used the school to gather gigalomaniacs. So they're still using it for that purpose, kind of sorta. Because the Chaos Child Syndrome is just like where, like a weaker version of a gigalomaniac where you have only one ability. So, Serica should be considered that too. Unless she really is a true blue gigalomaniac. Because so was Takumi. And he was also a delusionary existence. So maybe Serika is like a true gigalomaniac too. She should be, right? Unless Taku really did remove her power. It's a few, it's a few minutes walk away from the station. Sure doesn't look like a place for sick people. Looks just like a normal school. There's a plate on the entrance that reads Hekiho Academy. I can see the patients coming in and out of the building. Patients? Some are laughing and joking around while others are alone and playing with their smartphones. They really do look like normal students. Oh yeah, there you go. So that explains it. They're all wearing the school's uniform. But why? That uniform doesn't fit their appearances at all. I don't get this. What do they have horns or something like what that they that we've never seen in their sprite? It actually makes them stand out even more. Oh 
本人たちは高校に通っているつもりなんだって。They say that all the patients actually think they're leading a normal high school life here. What the fuck? They don't know what kind of place this is. But didn't they have like the school festival where everybody came there or something? Like, what the hell is going on? How is that possible? Didn't Sarah go there? Like, that doesn't make any sense. How could they not know? They would know what people say about them if they just look on TV once, so how? I wonder what they're seeing. <gasps> just as I go to take a look inside. Up, oh, she has visions of the, that cursed map! <laughs> that evil fucking map! Oh god! Huh? Serica? Serica? I suddenly feel a sharp pain in my head and collapse on the spot. Oh shit, so in every other ending are like, they always completely oblivious to this? Oh shit. What is going on? I feel my mind begin to fade away and then everything goes black. Is there really another map? I, I really hope not, Zash. Oh, God. <laughs> you know what? The boss map. I'm gonna make a quick save just in case the game decides to crash on me. Yeah, yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. Sorry about today. Yeah, yeah, I'll get some rest. Thanks. Bye. <sighs> I end the call with Owie and fall onto the bed. Oh, that looks like a comfy blanket. I only passed out for a few minutes. She has that nice TV. I wonder if she has a game system attached to it. I then woke up and the two of them walked me home. My hand still hurts. It's a strange pain. How do I describe it? I do wonder, is Sarah a, a true gigalomaniac? Because it would make sense if she is. Because Takumi was. How do I describe it? It's not like a real headache. It's like the center of my head is heavy or something. <sighs> what exactly happened to me earlier? Suddenly I see a vision of something in my head. This has happened to me before, but this time it's different, more powerful. Is she getting her powers back? I have a feeling this is all leading up to her busting Taku out of the hospital. Like, this is all gonna lead up to that. It feels like I've gone inside the vision. So much so that I can't even smell it. Does this maybe... Does this help? something to do with what my life was like before I lost my memories. Is she gonna reawaken her powers? Oh my god. Do I actually know Hekio Academy? That facility in Shibuya? I take out my phone and look at my address book. There are 22 names on the list. The only one of the list who isn't a friend is my guardian. Dang, Serica, yeah, is popular as fuck, just like she was in the, in the, in the, in the main game. Of course she is, because she's so cool. 
Seriously. I start calling her and then abruptly it cuts short. Cut it short, sorry. She told me not to go to Shibuya. I can't tell her what happened today. Maybe I should just tell her about the vision I saw. I wonder if she knows anything. When I woke up in the hospital after the accident, I didn't have any form of identification on me. No matter what the doctors asked me, I couldn't answer. And then she came. Yeah, it's gotta be, yeah. It's gotta be Momo saying, yeah. I wonder if Taku asked her to do this. She said she was a distant relative of mine and that she would be my guardian. She was the one who told me who I was before the accident. Supposedly, I was an only child. I used to live in a prefecture far away from Tokyo. Well, that's a lie. In the fall of my second year in high school, my parents both died in an accident. I was all alone. And then this person, my distant relative, took me in. I didn't have enough money left after that to keep going to the private school I was attending at the time. So I ended up transferring to a cheaper school run by a man she knew. Absolutely twerk! It's so... For the Chaos Child Syndrome patients to... Did non-gigalomaniacs see them differently? Like... There was none, never anything like that in Chaos Head. I wonder if they became... Um, or maybe that's just like a new thing. Since... Uh, You know, because, like, the months have passed. Oh, God, did they all become, like, freaking, uh, Shogun? Like, because they're using the... No, but that wouldn't be... That wouldn't happen to the ones who didn't even awaken their powers yet. Like, is that what they would mean by appearing? No, because they wouldn't all be that way, so... Never mind, I'll just keep going. But the day before I was supposed to start, I went to the Restoration Festival. It was the first time I've ever went to Shibuya... I was apparently shocked to see the sheer number of people there. While I was standing there in shock, I was swept up by the crowd and pushed onto the street. Just as a car was driving by. Oh shit. Well, that's fake, but... Thin Momo saying what? <laughs> How is that possible? After that, I woke up only to find myself in a hospital bed. I had a terrible scar on my stomach and I'd forgotten everything. The day I left the hospital, I asked my guardian a question. Can I go back to my old house? I meant the house where I lived with my parents. If I went back there, I thought I might remember something. But she told me, you can't go back there anymore. I I'm guessing this is Momo saying. Apparently someone else owns it now. That would make sense, yeah. She said they told me the reason why when I was older. But that still hasn't happened yet. She told me she works in Shibuya and can't leave the city. So that was why after I left the hospital, I started to live here by myself in this apartment in Yokohama. Now, Yokohama is all part of the same uh, freaking uh, metropolis. But yeah, it is pretty far. The first time I fell asleep in this room after leaving the hospital, I woke up in tears. And then I made a decision. I don't have time for crying. I need to live the best life I can for my parents' sake and for mine as well. Am I ready? Am I okay? I am okay! 
Oh, Steric is so badass. Still badass as fuck. That was when I left my past behind. She's she's still the same cool badass she always was. Or so I thought. But the facility called Hekio Academy and all those Chaos Child Syndrome patients, they seem like they're going to make me remember. Oh man, don't even get me started on friggin' Bond, who had the cheapest death in history. Seriously, they couldn't even b bother to save him in any of the alternate routes, not even in the friggin' ISA route, where they were literally right there. God damn it. Seriously. Oh man, I am so pissed off at Bond's death. Oh, it just felt so goddamn cheap. Oh my god. I really wish they had at least saved him in the ISA route. But the facility called Hegeo Academy and all those Chaos Child Syndrome patients, they seem like they're going to make me remember. Stay- yeah, oh, yep, yeah, it's Momose. It's Momose. Yep. Stay away from Shibia, all right? She told me that so many times, but maybe it's because she doesn't want me seeing Hikio Academy and the people who go there. Yeah, seriously, Torque. Oh. It's like that's something I'm not supposed to remember. Taku, thank you for for not taking away her her intelligence. Seriously, I'm so happy that he still left her being smart. That's because Taku is a fucking Giga Chad. There's no way. This isn't a thriller or anything like that. Chaos Child Syndrome. A specific condition that appears in certain victims of the Shibuya earthquake. Theorized to be a psychogenic mental disorder. It appears, seems to be a form of schizotypical disorder. A condition in which the patient does not recognize they have a disorder. The originator of the name is unknown, but is said to have come from both a psychologist and from one of the patients. Oh my god, Zash. That would be incredible. <laughs> The name appears to have come from the fact that all patients with this disorder were young children at the time of the Shibuya earthquake, and the complexity of the circumstances surrounding the earthquake and their symptoms. So yeah, there the, the, yeah, Japaniform, yeah, was the name, yeah, the gigalomaniacs who can only use one power. Really, there there weren't as many as we think. It was only really Hinai, um, Kazuki, Uki, and uh, uh, yeah, Kina. Hinai, Kazuki, and Uki. And no, no, and no, no. I mean, Senri. As far as we know, I mean. Oh, and also all the all the murder victims. That is believed to be the origin of the name, Chaos Child Syndrome. Alright, they don't have it, but what is it? What is it? At least, what is the public image of this? See, Ta Taku would never do that. Because he is super ultra cool. No one must know I have a crush on Taku. <laughs> I couldn't stop thinking about the syndrome, so I ended up spending the whole night researching it on my phone. I didn't understand over half of what I read. 
Just reading it gave me a headache. And it was all is believed to be or is said to be. It was like no one really knew anything about it. Eventually, I... Th oh, wow, that's kind of... Wow, that's kind of jackassy. Jeez. That's for the good thing she didn't read that. Jeez. Hello, Ken and Bush. Welcome to the stream. Eventually, I found a page that said mental disorders are neither real illnesses or fictional myths, but somewhere between the two. I didn't know what that meant, so I just gave up. Oh, that's kind of... Wow, what kind of jackass wrote that? A lot of other people besides me were looking into it, too. Some people were coming up with weird conspiracy theories, or as Taku would say, wrong -siders. And others were saying that the very idea of explaining it scientifically was nonsense. Well, they don't know, the, like, the whole giggle and maniac stuff. I realized as I read that I kept seeing the same name again and again. <laughs> Wait, his name is in the fucking research papers? What? Miyashiro Takuru. What? He's the boy behind the serial killings of Chibia. But he really did take the blame. Oh, God. He's just 18 years old, only a year older than me. I lost my memories from before the accident, so I didn't really know what awful things he did at first. Don't believe it! I tried to look him up, but when they gave him me my phone, they put a filter on it. Oh, wow! I can't read basically anything that has to do with Miyashiro Takuru. Exactly, but yeah, that's only going to make her want to know more. <laughs> yeah, but that only made me want to know more. Maybe that's what I was like before the accident. My personality doesn't seem to have changed much. Oh, yes, it has. Mom, Hello, Mr. Cool. Welcome to the stream. Ooh, Sirica is so fucking smart. Well, unless you're interested in looking into it yourself, the information doesn't do you any good. Hmm? Huh? No, Taka said they were definitely wrongsiders. Huh? Huh? Because he was saying, like, all the people on, um, at Chan, like saying all the the weird stuff about like Yui and uh, that we're wrong sider. Feels like someone's told me that before, and pretty often at that. But who? I mean, bye, Void. Welcome. Uh, thank you for coming. Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm gonna no no with doxed, yeah. Oh, his phone doesn't have any filtering on it, so I was able to find out more about Miyashiro Takaru through her. Loopholes. What I read about him was shocking. It's it's hard to imagine that someone my age could have done what he did. <laughs> he killed his own younger sister. And he worked together with an accomplice to stuff her body into boxes. Then he tried to kill his older sister and failed. His older sister is still in a coma after that. Yeah, she really is, Mr. Cool. And that is so awesome. This is probably like, you know, the true Serica. Who, who doesn't have that, that freaking uh, desire that, that freaking shaped her personality. But she's still herself. I couldn't believe it. I felt disgusted with this Miyashiro person. How could he do something so horrible? 
And then I found something that made me start wondering. Is she, she's gonna connect it to her dreams, isn't she? I learned that he'd attended Hekio Academy before I got caught. They told me not to go to Shibuya. And they put filtering on my phone to stop me from looking at Miyashiro specifically. Freaking Detective Sarah Kai! Which means that there's may maybe there's something there. Something they don't want me to know. I don't know what it could be. But it just doesn't feel right. Yoshi. Detail? What detail? Fuck! Alright! I slapped myself a few times on the cheeks and it helped me focus. I just want answers. What detail? What detail? That's why I decided to pretend to be sick to get out of school and then head back to Shivia. Okay, I'm ready to go. I say a silent sorry to my friends who are worried about my fake illness and set off for my destination. Ooh, what's she gonna find out? Is she gonna try to find Taku? Oh, the other kids must must see her. Wait, older sister. Oh my God! Wait, what? Oh, they blamed. Wait, and failed. Wait, I didn't see that. What? 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 Wait. What? What? Whoa, 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 whoa! What? No, no, he's alive! But, the, oh my god, he had no idea! But it really seemed like she died. Oh my god! Oh, that is so great that she lives! Oh my god! Oh! Oh yeah! Oh! Oh, that is too great! Hey, Sunray! she lived oh my god oh yeah that's amazing oh my god oh, oh my god it really seemed like she died oh my god Serica oh my god <laughs> so really, Yui is the only one who really died. Oh my god. And uh, and there's no way they can retcon Yui's death. Like, seriously. <laughs> like, but oh my god. Oh my god, that is so amazing! So she's in a coma, but she's alive. Well, the right side of reality it was like an uh, was an illusion to like Serica. Now she's not she's not like ruled by that wish that Taku made anymore. That's what I'm pretty much thinking. What the title means. When I reached the same spot I was at yesterday, I suddenly hear the sound of a bell. She's gonna see like Hinai or somebody like that. And he and I knows about her.
All the noise that the patients are making stops and the whole facility goes quiet. Is it time for class, maybe? The place seems just like the high school I went to. Kozapi, in, in spite of loving murder, never actually killed anyone, except in her own route. <laughs> that, that was the irony of Kozapi. She never killed anyone except in her own route. I think she got killed more than she killed people. She killed fucking Reem. Jeez. Kozapi, it's Kozapi! Yes. <laughs> Aika told me that the people here think they're going to school. Wait, they're not? <sighs> what do I do? I've come to the same spot as yesterday, but I'm not having any visions like I did last time. I don't want to pass out again, but I also got my hopes up a little. That maybe I would see something else. That is- oh my god, I am so happy that Nono is alive, Senri is alive. Oh my god! And that maybe you'll be a clue to the old me. I take out my phone and check the time. If it's the same as normal school, they should all be, still be in morning classes. I just heard the bell, so it's probably third period. Should I go inside? If I act like I belong here, maybe they won't. No, that won't work. <laughs> True Torque. Yeah, no no was the saddest death for Taco. Oh my god, he would be so happy to hear that no no was alive! Oh my god! It'd be one thing if I was wearing the school's uniform, but in my street clothes, they'd spot me immediately. Is she oh, gonna get into her so uniform? Wrong. There's something wrong. Oh. Ah! <sighs> Not good. I've been staring at the school for so long that he probably thinks I'm suspicious now. I smile at the guard as he walks up to me. Yeah, <laughs> Uh, no, not really. <laughs> just an average teenager just walking around, you know. <laughs> oh, nice and robotics notes. I didn't know that. That's cool. Oh, it's you. I haven't seen you in a while. Uh oh, here we go. Where have you been? Oh, where's your uniform? Here we fucking go! Huh? Huh? Ah, uh, the guard wasn't told. That was actually against the rules, but, well, I'll let it slide. Get inside quick! Hurrying, you can make it in time for third period! And then he lets me go right on inside the school. Hi, <sighs> whoa, how about the wash? <laughs> I see it there. What? What is he talking about? My uniform? He hasn't seen me for a while. He knows me. I don't understand. I just keep standing in the middle of the courtyard, shocked. Oh, what's wrong? The guard's starting to get concerned. If I don't do something quick, he'll definitely get suspicious. Well, go on inside. No one probably has gym in third period. Oh, just go with it. I don't know what's going on, but just standing here is only going to make him more suspicious. I start walking resolutely toward the school building. <sighs> I was 
too close. I finally make it to the entrance. I didn't realize it before, but my breathing is starting to quicken. I looked around, desperately searching my memories. But I've never been here before. Probably. Still. For some reason, I recognize the smell. It's the smell of the school building. It feels much more like home than my high school in Yokohama. No, that's impossible. I'm just imagining it. All schools smell the same. <gasps> and then suddenly I see a vision in my mind. Just like yesterday. My heart pounds loudly. I'm sure I'd never been here before. But I still feel a sense of deja vu. I suddenly remember what the guard said. I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, and where's your uniform? Get inside quick. Did I actually go to the school before the accident? Does that mean I'm a student or a patient here? But I don't have Chaos Child Syndrome. Yeah, so they, they, it's not like they look different. Like, Serica looks the same as everybody else. I open up the shoe locker for guests and put my shoes inside. I decide not to wear slippers. It's possible I might need to run out of here after all. She's going to be slipping and sliding on her socks. I head up the stairs to the third floor. The further in I get the stronger sensation of deja vu. I feel sick. No, I feel uncomfortable. It's like I'm watching a movie I saw when I was a kid. I don't remember the story or the ending, and I can't think of the title of what the protagonist looks like. But I know that I've seen all the scenes before. I can faintly hear what sounds like a teacher's voice coming from one of the classrooms. I just keep walking through the movie. But for some reason, I suddenly stop. I am just so happy that Nunu is alive, Senri. Oh my god. She's gonna find, like, frickin' uh, Hina or somebody. What am... What am I... Chewing on the third floor? I'm in front of a second-year classroom. Why did I stop here? Why did I come straight up to here in the first place? This all feels really strange. I can hear a teacher's voice coming from within, seemingly teaching class at the moment. Suddenly I feel scared. The air feels heavy like it's threatening to crush me. My heartbeat is incredibly loud. My hand reaches for the door like it's being pulled by an unseen force. More deja vu. I know how this door feels to the touch. I remember it. I'm not imagining it. Is it to the club room or, or the classroom? I suddenly hear a voice from within. A voice I remember very well. It's a voice I remember well, but also one that makes me feel like I want to cry. No, don't open it. Don't open the door on away. Why can't you open it? Why? By the time I finish that thought, the door slowly starts opening. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh, there they all are. <gasps> Wait, what the fuck? Are they like zombified? Oh God! What the hell? That's terrifying. 
Oh my god. They're all shogunned! What happened to them? They all became like shogun! Hello, my cat. Welcome to stream. What the hell? How did they all become like shogun? I'm petrified by the scene I witnessed. What the hell? Is like, did, did all the Chaos Syndrome patients deteriorate in the last couple of months? Is it like a terminal illness? Oh god. Countless eyes are focused on me. Everyone simultaneously looks at me the moment I entered the classroom unannounced. Holy shit. So did all the Chaos Child Syndrome people deteriorate in the last couple of months? What the hell? Amid the dead silence, my eyes lock with all of theirs. The old woman closes to me, smiles. They really did become like Shogun! The old woman closes to me, smiles. Her wrinkly lips shine with lip gloss that doesn't match her age at all. Oh, God. Welcome back. <gasps> ah! Wait, what the hell? So how come Sarika didn't deteriorate? I guess she really isn't, then. A uh, chaos child syndrome, right? Oh, no! Oh god, oh god, that's a horrible future that awaits everyone. They all became like Shogun so fast. Oh god. Oh no, are they all just gonna die? Oh god. How did this happen? All the hairs on my body stand on end, and I shoot out of there like a bullet. I dash down the hallway. I just keep on running. What was that? What was that? Yesterday I saw firsthand what Kay's child syndrome is. But still, that doesn't make any sense. Why? Why didn't any of them realize it? With all those patients there, how did none of them realize it? How did none of them realize this isn't even a school? Well, I mean, it looks like a school. <laughs> Are they all gonna die? <laughs> this place isn't normal. It definitely isn't normal. They all wear normal uniforms, take normal classes. What's the point of making all these patients live like normal people? Is it part of the treatment? No, there's no way I ever entered an Akio Academy. I'm just imagining it. Oh god, are we gonna see zombified versions of everybody too? Oh god. So this must be what happened to Shogun as well. Oh god, how did this happen to them so quickly? They're not even proper Gigalomaniacs. Oh no! My chest starts to burn and I finally stop running. I still can't stop myself from walking as fast as I can. Couldn't a Gigalomaniac reverse this, probably? Maybe Sarah can, can do it? I don't know. Oh god. And then I notice it's happening yet again. Again, it's happening again! The handrails, you're right. Stop it! Why did I come up the stairs? If I want to get out of here, I need to go down. I can see the building next to me from the window. I must have gone up about two flights of stairs. <sighs> but they had sports and stuff too, didn't they? I look behind me. Nobody's chasing after me. 
No one's making a fuss. I'm safe. She's gonna go to the club room. I'm guessing Ito... Ito is also zombified. Oh, God. Suddenly, another vision flashes through my head. I feel incredibly diz dizzy and seeing an evil map far beyond all comprehension. I stagger over to the wall to keep myself from falling over. It's just like yesterday. A thing where I see visions of something I'm sure I've never seen before, and I start to pass out. Why am I... Like, because we saw from her perspective that Taku looked normal in the final battle and stuff like that. And surely Taku doesn't have chaos. Taku is a regular giggle maniac, right? Unless he's doubled up. Huh? Is Taku like doubled up? Does he a, is he a normal gigalomaniac who also has chaos child? Because that would make him like freaking Takumi level. He's actually much more powerful than we originally thought. What suddenly catches my eye is a certain club room. Yep. Of course, I don't know what which club it is. I've never been here before. And what about the... Yeah, okay, we know that... Uh, okay, we know that everyone was normal even, like, when Taku just awoke from his coma. Or at least recently after that, because the photo with Nono and the whole family was normal. Of course, I don't know which club it is. I'd never been here before. But what do I know? Is that this room... I do know that this room is special to me. I move away from the wall and slowly walk toward the door. Huh? Oh god, they got zombified in such a short time. Is this gonna happen after the end of all the endings? Oh god. Maybe this will be Serika's like redemption arc or something. If she can help cure everyone. Because I think she's a true blue giggle maniac, right? Oh, God. Yeah, oh, that's right. Kazuki would be inside. I hear a sound come from inside the room. Is someone in there? Is Kazuki is also zombified? Oh, God. Oh, yamerote. Hey, stop it! Do something about her, Vice Prez! Again? Come on, I told you to stop doing that already! Look, now you're all scratched up. Get me the first aid kit, okay? Huh? Wait, I'm checking the source of this new site. <laughs> now! Okay, fine. some reason, the voices I hear make my chest ache and burn. Tears suddenly start filling my eyes and my vision blurs. I haven't heard any of these voices before, but I remember them, for I know what my hand is already on the door. She's gonna see zombified Kazuki, oh god. And I slowly open it. This is, oh my god, she's gonna end up busting Taku out of fucking the hospital.
The freaking map is still there, that evil thing. There's no one here. I know I heard those voices coming from here until I opened it. I slowly go inside and close the door. I run my finger along the desk and look at the things in the rest of the room. There's no one here. Of course there isn't. No one was here to begin with. No! Oh god, no! No maps! This room is a mess. There are piles of papers, books, and DVDs everywhere. Several cardboard boxes stacked on top of each other. So no, no, clearly hasn't been in here to clean. A newspaper clip? There are several scrapbooks on the shelf, and all of them say Akio Academy Newspaper Club Article Archive on the front. Destroy the map, Serica! <sighs> Oh, this is it. I'm sure of it. This is what I saw in my vision a moment ago. Chizu. No! No! A map. A map that filled my heart with hatred. I touched the map on the bulletin board. In the center of it is Shivia Station. This must be a map of Shivia. Destroy it! Kill it! Kill it! There are photographs and newspaper articles pinned to it, along with memos that were made by the club's members, probably. But all, honestly, all the stuff on the board makes me feel sick. Pictures of the murder. God damn it! They still haven't taken that down! Even after this long? There's lots of pictures of corpses and things. Wait, isn't this... That case from Shibuya? I don't remember any of it, but... This looks like the return of the new generation madness that I heard took place in Shibuya. For the Restoration Festival. The map is a summary of the case. Well, wouldn't Kazuki do it though? Like, at least Kazuki and freaking Hinai would take it down. The map is a summary of the case. In between makeout sessions. Jeez. Why do I know that? I carefully searched the map for any clues to my past. Uh. Huh? I can't believe my eyes. <gasps> what the fuck? Zombified? No, no! But... How? I see a photograph pinned up away from the others. And she, yeah, she doesn't have it. What the hell? It's me. What? But how? I'm smiling. I'm wearing the school's uniform. It's the exact same uniform the old people, the patients, were wearing. And the person smiling next to me is- Oh no! Poor No-No! Oh god, what the hell? Oh god! Next to me is- no -no? Who- Who are you? Do you recognize No-No from your dreams? I hear myself whisper that. I know I didn't ask that question to someone I'd never met before. I... 
know this person from somewhere. Who is this old woman with a kind smile? There's regular no no. Oh god. How did this happen? Tell me, who are you? Suddenly Ria said I'm yelling now. Whether I'm yelling at myself or at her, I don't know. Oh god, they're all gonna die soon. By the time the sunset arrives, I finally make my decision. Yes. Let's do this. Hell yeah, Serika, you gotta solve this. Oh god, I love that they're making Serika the freaking protagonist. Oh god, oh my god. This is all my fucking hopes and dreams. Serika protagonist, Nono is still alive, Senri. I just, oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I know the place from the business card I was given before. Bye, Baka. Thank you for coming. There's no point in just thinking about it. How did this happen? I want answers. Besides, not knowing it is making me feel sick. I pull up a map of Shibuya on my phone and start walking. So you came, huh? You mix spot deposit for living expenses isn't for three days, you know. Oh. Mimosi sound my guardian. Doesn't scold me for breaking my promise. Instead she sighs, sounding slightly exasperated. I was scared that she'd get mad, so I'm a little relieved. No, I knew that. Um, that's not why I'm here. Ma, hi, Nasaina. Go ahead, eh? Well, come inside. Is coffee okay? Hi. Yeah. It's been a while since I last saw her. But part of me doesn't really know how to deal with this woman. Holy shit, this seems like a whole nother fucking story. I can see why this is way longer than the freaking Chaos had one. Oh my god. We didn't even get Taku back yet. But part of me doesn't really know how to deal with this woman. She's normally really laid back. But she can quickly get scary out of nowhere. Helpful orator that you can't fight back against. Probably. Because she has council powers. If she tells you to do something, you do it. Uh, excuse me? I say as timidly as, timidly as I timidly enter her office. Inside, it's a normal office. I crane my neck to look around. Her business card says Credit Bureau. It's easy to assume that makes her kind of similar to a detective. As far as I know, anyway. From what I've seen on TV, I figure that detective offices are supposed to be messy. So I'm surprised to see just how normal her office looks. Here. Domo. 
thinks. I'll take a sip from the coffee she offers me. Come to think of it, I haven't had anything to eat since I ran from Hekio Academy this afternoon. I didn't feel like eating at all after going there. So, I uh, can't help but from noticing I told you to stay away from Shebia, didn't I? <sighs> you did. I try to focus. I need to get answers today. I'm sorry. Uh, there was nothing I needed to know. I tell her as much as I can about everything that's happened since yesterday. Mimosa-san listens quietly, occasionally si sipping from her, her coffee. She doesn't bat an eye even when I tell her about how it collapsed. Now I snuck into Hekio. <laughs> I get a little mad as I start to talk. Mose-san clearly knows something about my past. And whatever it is, it definitely has to do some with something to do with Chaos Child Syndrome and Hekio Academy. Otherwise, she never would have told me not to come to Shibuya. I take something out of my pocket, like a detective confronting a suspect with crucial evidence. Take that! <laughs> totally, Zash. Mimose-san's expression changes. She's now making a face that I didn't expect. Oh, she's probably con contemplating on whether to, to freaking take her out. Oh, shit. Did she just chuckle? Why? This is me, right? It has to be! I point to myself in the picture. I feel bad about it, but I brought the photograph in that room. Who is it that ne that's next to me? Why am I wearing that facility's uniform? Oh, she's talking more in a regular voice. I thought you told me that I've never been to Shibuya before the day of the Restoration Festival. The guard at Hekio Academy recognized me. And I even felt that sense of deja vu when I walked through the halls. It was supposedly my first time there, but it felt like my body was moving on its own. And then there was what that student said to me in the second year classroom. Welcome back. Have I been to that facility before? What do you think? Huh? How did it feel when you went there? Did it feel like you've been to Hakio Academy before? The way she answered my question with a question put me at a loss for words. I don't know, but something just doesn't feel right. There is no way I could have been there before. I've never heard the name Kekio Academy before yesterday. I didn't even know that it was a facility for Chaos Child Syndrome patients. But when I was there, 
I felt like I'd forgotten something. In the photograph, I'm wearing my uniform and smiling. The old woman next to me must have been a friend. I was friends with someone with chaos child syndrome. And I was wearing the uniform. Does that mean that I'm also... もしかして私、顔しちゃえると症候群だったんですかその影響で記憶をなくしてしまったとか。Did I have Kia's child syndrome? I so I lost my memories. それは違うわね。You're wrong. You know what, Tork? What you're saying is just making me want to replay uh, The World Ends With You, Neo. I love that game so much. I love the world. I love the story of that game. I love the main couple in that game to death. Oh my god. You're wrong. Mimose is on the Nazi outline. Imano Tokoro, Shokogun Karakai Fukustasto, a story more in I know you. Omote Mukivane. The world ends with you, Neo. I are you. I love that game. I love that game. I love the world ends with you, Neo, to death. I loved it. No, I don't know where you got that idea. It makes I, I, I'm I'm I, I constantly think of re, re, you're probably thinking of something else for sure. Yeah, I loved that game to death. Not a single person has recovered from Chaos Child Syndrome yet. At least not as far as the public knows. Oh, really? So did Taku? Here we go. As far as the public knows. <sighs> I am so happy Mimose did not immediately, like, freaking shank Serika after she's remembering shit. I'm so happy. Is she gonna? Oh my god. Oh no, yeah, you're thinking of World's End Club. I, yeah, I did not. No, no. Yeah, yeah, no, that's a very different game. No, no, no. <laughs> but Neo Twoey, I love it. I love it so goddamn much. Mimose sound gets out of pen and starts rustling down on a notepad. Before I give this to you, I want to make sure of something. You sure you want answers, right? <sighs> She's testing me. But it should be obvious. Of course I want answers. Olga, about how far into this route am I? My past. The memories I lost. Of course I want to know. Yes. Yes. I want to know more about my past. Yes. Of course you do. Who wouldn't? She hands me a piece of paper with a name and address on it. You think I'm halfway? Okay, so I think I might stop after this scene then, if I'm around halfway. She hands me a piece of paper with a name and address on it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, my god. oh a third? Okay. Alright, so I'll keep going. I'll keep going until halfway. Oh, a third? Okay. I'm gonna keep going until I'm about halfway. If you guys can tell me when is a good halfway point. Sorry. But I can't tell you anything myself. In fact, I'm not even supposed to be telling you that I can't tell you anything. But, well, I'll 
what I wouldn't give for her to be like a main character in like a future freaking side adventure. But well, uh, I will just have to forgive me for this. Hell yeah, but we'll say! Woo! There's got to be a reason why she's working for the committee. She doesn't seem like a bad person at all. Just go there and ask her your questions. That's how you can start. Like, I wonder if they could make, like, a, a side adventure game where she's, like, the main heroine, like, in the past. Like, that would be pretty cool. Just go there and ask her your questions. That's how you can start. I did forget that. Liz, I forgot that she did that particular thing. Yeah, that. Uh, well, maybe she was forced to by the committee. <sighs> it feels like she didn't tell me anything as per usual. Still, I have no choice but to go there. I gulp down the rest of my coffee, which has gone completely cold. And stand up. So I'm pr I'm pretty much assuming that Mio, wait. Mio also has the uniform. Wait, why does Mio also have the uniform? Don't tell me Mio also has Chaos Child Syndrome, because I don't think she does. She's not even a giggle maniac. But then again, neither are most of the kids. Wait. Does she or not? Why does she even have the uniform? Wait, is, is Mio a Chaos Child Syndrome or not? I... Wait. Oh, she was researching. Okay, I see, I see. Okay. I gulp down the rest of my coffee, which had gone completely cold, and stand up. Ah, so so. Oh, uh, right. How are you doing, by the way? Uh, living by yourself, I mean. Mimosa san chases after me as I start to leave the building. Hi, ma, so de nari ni. I'm doing all right, I guess. Don't use too much money, okay? The crepes that I ate yesterday flashed through my mind. Oh, I'm keeping my allowance and the money I need for living expenses separate. Good idea. Good on ya. Good on ya. Oh my. Making grown-up decisions already. Have you made any friends? She's made tons of friends. Because Serika is just too cool. I think of Aoi and Ayaka. Hi. Yeah. So? I see. You must be having lots of fun then, right? Hi. It's fun. Yeah, I am. I'm really glad to hear this. Oh. If she really is glad, then why do her eyes seem a little sad? Alright. Take care of yourself then. Maybe we'll meet again someday. Oh. I bow 
bow in response to a curious way of saying goodbye. What is that supposed to mean? Well, everything she says is usually pretty ominous, so there's no real point in thinking about it. Hi. Mata Kondo. Yeah, see you later. And with that, I leave Frisia. The next day, by early afternoon, I arrive there. It's here, right? Oh, shit, fuck. The address on the piece of paper was for a hospital in Yoyogi. A.H. Tokyo General Hospital. When I first saw the paper, I had the feeling that I'd heard the name before. But it's only now that I'm actually seeing the building that I remember why. About three months ago, the police ran a search here. Everyone was talking about it to the point where I knew no about it, even though I don't watch the news. They've been committing all kinds of medical malpractice, which they hadn't reported at all. All right, okay, they investigated them, that's nice. And they've been making illegal donations to politicians for years to cover it up. Or something like that. So glad that he followed through. They also had ties to some weird, weird cult. And instead of treatments, they'd sometimes make patients go under, undergo weird rituals. Ugh. This place is scary. I hope it's safe. This scene is kind of long. Uh, yeah, it might have to be three streams, which is totally fine with me. I want this to last as long as possible. Uh, I think I will. You know, I don't mind if it's three streams at all. I will be so happy. Oh my god. Hey, and we'll, we'll you know what? Wow. I just realized, look. Ah, uh, look at that. It'll be perfect if it's three streams. We'll fill every single sla save slot. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, I would love to light our room of it. You know what? I would be so happy to... Three, it's it, it's perfect for being three streams, because look. <laughs> oh my god. It'll, it'll fill up exactly every single save slot. Yeah. So, uh... Thank you so much, guys, for joining me. Oh, my God. Serica is the protagonist. My fucking dream. Oh, my God. 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 I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't wait until we get to the scene where she busts Taku out of the fucking hospital. Oh, my God. This is going to be so fucking epic. Uh, we're, we're doing Limbus to, uh, Limbus on, uh, Thursday. Yeah, uh, gone to heaven. Limbus will be Thursday. And that's what, that's where we're gonna end, I mean, end Limbus. Hell yeah! Takuik Serica for life! 100%. Alright, you guys. Until next time, I will say so long, farewell, Avrita saying goodnight, Serica chapter! Oh my god! The true ending is Serica chapter! Oh my god, I just saw that! Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Until then, I will say, to all the sweetest of hearts, 
Castilla. 